Namaste. If you are new here, my name is Pratik Singh and this is an overview video for Azure Cloud Shell. Like the name suggests, this is a web-based shell which is available through Azure Portal. So let me launch my web browser and go to my Azure Portal. In the top right corner, you will see this Cloud Shell icon. Click on that. At the bottom of the web page, you will see a welcome note to Azure Cloud Shell. This also provides you two options to run your Azure Shell. First one is Bash, which would be running on Linux. But in this example, we are going to use PowerShell. So I'll click on this PowerShell Windows link. Now it tells me that I don't have any storage mounted, which is required for Azure Cloud Shell to run and persist files. It also provides me a drop down menu where I can choose my subscription under which I want to create this Azure Cloud Shell. If I click on Show Advanced Settings, it will also give me options to select a location and resource groups. For now, I am creating a new storage account, so I won't be touching any of these settings and I'll click on hide advanced settings and then straight away click on create storage. Now you can see my Azure Cloud Drive is getting created and PowerShell is starting up. This may take a minute or two for the complete setup. Meanwhile, my Cloud Shell is getting ready. I'll show you some basic features available in this Cloud Shell. When you click on this drop down, you have an option to select bash scripting language. For now, I will ignore that and I'll click on this gear icon. Here you will get an option to change font and text size. So for now, let's choose medium. It also gives you an option to create a new session. So if I click on this icon, it will just open Azure Cloud Shell in a new tab. You can now see it is getting authenticated and it is trying to build your Azure Drive. So let me go back to your, so let me, so let me go back to my Azure portal and minimize this. If I refresh my dashboard, I will see a new storage account has been created here. All right, let's try to explore this cloud shell. The first thing which you must have noticed that it has already mounted an Azure drive and you are right now accessing it. If I run any basic commandlet like get child item and hit tab, you can see the tab expansion works and it not only works for the command, it works for the parameters as well. So if I run get child item, it will just list me my current subscription under which I am authenticated. If I change my directory to my current subscription and run get child item once again, you will see now I can navigate all my Azure RM resources. Let me just show you that. This is the exactly the same detail which I can see from my Azure dashboard. Let me just clear the screen. You can also run other PowerShell commandlets in this cloud shell. So let me just run get WMI object for Win32 operating system. And let me just select the caption property. This shows that your current cloud shell is working behind the scenes on Windows Server 2016. The cloud shell comes preloaded with lots of modules and binaries. So if I run get module commandlet list available, it will just show me the complete list of module available in this cloud shell. Now here you can see like there are lots of module for uh, available here, which includes Azure AD, Azure RM, networking modules, a lot of other things. You can also identify what pre-installed softwares are available in this cloud shell. For example, if you run Python, you can see Python version 2.7 is already installed in this cloud shell. That means you can also run your Python scripts here. In order to understand what else is installed on this cloud shell, I'll run get WMI object. I'll choose Win32 product class. Type it to format table and it will show you every installed software on this cloud shell. Here you will find Node.js, 
Microsoft ODBC drivers, Azure CLI, and other things like Python. But this shell is not only limited to these binaries and modules, you can also extend it. So I'll just use the command it install module to install one of my PowerShell modules from PowerShell Gallery. which will find and install my module from PowerShell Gallery to Cloud Shell. And now if I run get module, name of my module, it does not give me any result because I have not imported this module into my console. And you're ready to go. All my module and capabilities are now loaded onto my Cloud Shell. I can go ahead and straight away use them. So guys, that's all for the overview of Azure Cloud Shell. In the next video, we would be looking into how Azure Cloud Storage works behind the scenes to make this Cloud Shell work. If you like my videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. That is a motivation for me to create more such videos. Thank you so much guys for watching.